Not having the best day, big. All of a sudden. Down the middle, let's see. Oh, he is so quick, Woxic. That was, was even a double peek. That yeah. was even Searson was at the low angle and couldn't get it done. But over towards Catwalk, taps and finds the equalizer. God, does Big need this one round? Yeah, that's what we're thinking now. It's like now, now they just have to hold on, get around to stay in this in this map. Well, they could get wiped out. Eternal Fire worried about any kind of aggression that might be coming their way. Uh, not seeing it just yet. Crimbo did take a peek into Upper Dark, but he decides against it. He does have Searson down there. They actually have a lot of mid almost tilted towards some sort of a B push thing happening here. So if Crimbo can get that smoke off, if he just gets, yeah, gets taken straight down, this is pretty good defense. Should be. Yeah, as long as Searson doesn't overextend and try and make his way up the stairs. Gonna hold the off angle. Emor walks right into it. Another smoke and a go. Searson's like really casual about all this though. I know. A lot more a lot more pressure coming towards him. Oh, and he gets prepared in time. Does eventually fall to X Floud. But he's done the damage. He's done the work. It's a two on three. Oh man. Might not be done yet. A little bit of a need out. But Zentaris no. is ready with a headshot to take down Tamson. I don't know what's happening. These rounds look like big have them and then they're just so slippery somehow the, uh, this is actually such a sick reposition as well from Xanteris now they're going to be able to split towards the 8 bomb site. how do you play this if you're Tizian yep you have to hit the shot right away and the spray will work out for him but yeah I mean he could have just as well gone down HE right on top of Tizian will take a lot of damage off and x jumping down ready to catch him he's going to get shot in the back surely wait he had his knife out oh no oh surely not Five seconds here. There's nothing he can do. He has to keep uh, holding it. The bomb has been planted. No, 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 you, no, no, no. There's no way. X Cloud's on his own. One versus two. Out in the open. He's had every single <laughs> chance to get killed already. And finally, Big will win around. But this, this says something about the kind of chaos that's been happening, I guess, in overtime and in the regulation as well. That is absolute madness. That's so weird. What an odd situation to be in. I like I like the play from Xbox as well. The nade and the drop down. If the nade gets that kill, it forces the flanking player into a play that he doesn't probably want to make at that pace, and Xbox might actually catch him off guard. So I think that's actually a well-constructed 1v2 for X Cloud. Just unfortunately does not get the kill with a nade. Otherwise, I think he might he might have just straight up won that. 17-16, big just barely staying alive. I swear it looked for a minute to me like in lower dark with Searson, it looked like he was turning with his arrow keys at one point. <laughs> so like, like he didn't even care. He was like, ah, I'm just messing around, you know. <laughs> uh, well, they should start to take this real serious here. 17, 16, Eternal Fire, two rounds away from truly shocking the world here with uh, with a with a win against Speak from a from a very hard deficit. So it's possible, but I don't know. It shouldn't be. It feels like it should have already been big winning 20 minutes ago. Let's see. All right, Sisson, ready. Looking down middle in case anyone was going to try and challenge him. Doesn't seem like that's happening at the moment. And a pretty standard setup here for the Eternal Fireside. Two out long, two and B, and Santaris holding the middle for uh, any kind of a split. Here's that setup again. We saw this in regulation a couple times, but Big never really triggered it in any meaningful way. I think it looks like they have the bodies to actually make a play towards this B bomb site, so Emor and X are gonna get their chance. And he's ready. Oh, his teammate steps in front and he shoots him in the back instead. And now they're gonna back on out. Crimbo's dead. Oh, this is a bit of a bit of a nightmare. Four versus five. They they look like they had that dead on, and somehow it it blows up in their faces. Oh dear, this is, that's a horrible way for that to go. A horrible way. Up towards catwalk, four on five. Look at the time as well. 20 seconds for this one right here. And they're all, they're basically all grouped up. One good nade could shut this all down. 15 seconds now on the clock, but they're starting to put in some counter nades at the very least. And Sentara swings out for a huge double kill before they finally take him down with a flashbang. It's actually Searson getting that assist, so I don't know. It looked like a little bit of a team flash, and this is crumbling and falling apart on the side of Big, running out of time here. And it's going to be 18 on the side 
of Eternal Fire. They're one round away from stealing this in overtime. Absolute insanity. What a collapse. Remember, Big has only gotten four rounds from the point the second half began. It was 12-3. Second half in overtime. They've had such little success. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I mean, this is... I I feel if you feel a little bit speechless. Eternal fire. Yeah. They just... They look like they were gone. It's, it's also... It's been a long time, like since we've seen like a comeback of like i feel like of this much disparity 12-3 at halftime you just you don't see many teams recover from that yeah and yet here we are out on long yeah, here we are yeah we we're getting a chance now oh they nearly line up for it there's more people out here calyx and Emo still alive the molotov though will burn him at the end he he had the smoke ready i think he was trying to get out but a lot to negotiate on that side they still come up with a man lead two to three now and citizens taking a lot of damage this is looking real good a couple of more kills and they take the overtime and put us onto nuke and it's oh it's looking beautiful right now citizen goes down and crimbo is on his own what a I'm so shocking shocked. match this is <laughs> i i have no idea what to say about this one crimbo 1v3 he's got 50 seconds to play with alicia has got the bomb at his back as well but i the defense is just positioned so so well yeah, there's not much to do right here. And they're, they're just saying, if you want to go to the A-bomb site, like, you can have it. We'll just retake it in a, in a 3v1. But out mid, they have this covered so well. One player from CT spawn, Woxic, is going to be here for the response. And he's not even needed. 1916, Eternal Fire, complete a miraculous comeback. Wow, that is so ridiculous. Big, they basically got to the finish line right away. And I don't know, they, they took a break. They started to dance, showing up for the cameras a little bit. Maybe, you know, enjoying their victory before it was even really done. And then by the time they turned around, Eternal Fire were right there. And it, it, what a struggle. I just, I don't even know what to say. That is, that's going to be hard to recover from. If you're on the side of big and you're going to play nuke right now, these next 10 minutes, however long the break is going to be, are going to be real important, aren't they? Yeah, I, I'm still going to lean towards big for a third and deciding map. I'm just always going to tend to lead towards like the more fundamental and what I feel is like a little bit more coordinated team at the moment with big when you go to a map like nuke. But that's all predicated on the fact that they're not just tilted off the face of the earth. Like that could be the great equalizers if they're just pissed off and frustrated after a dust two loss. Uh, you never know what kind of big you could get in that third map. So, man, that that hurts, though. I mean, just all the advantages yeah. in the world. What a, what a great what a great job from Eternal Fire. I'm super impressed. Yeah, well done. Um, we'll give them a chance to get a little bit of a break, and then we'll be back with uh, with more Counter-Strike coming right up. Stay tuned.